Next we'll go to inventory and here you have to assign products you are going to sell. This is a sample product I have entered. No pricing will be added here. You have to add them through GR. So first we are gonna set the product. So I click new. Here you can choose the categories you have created. So I'm gonna add two books. So give a SKU code. Uh, keep it neatly so you can maintain a uh, organized uh, SKU codes. So because of books, I'm gonna say 00B001 and I'm gonna name it single rule books 40 pages. Okay, you can set a brand if you need. These don't have expiration dates, so if there are any products with expired date, you can set it here or else just you can clear it. If you want, you can add a picture so the mobile app will show it on the mobiles. So here, uh, select the image you need to upload. So I'm just gonna select uh, image here. Image ratio should be 150 and 150 pixels or else this uh, processing will convert the image to the according ratio so if i upload a larger image here you get a download button not a save button oh, then now you can't save this product unless you upload an image that meets the certain criteria or you can remove the image and save the product without an image so if you want one browse and select your image open it this is not according to the criteria so click download scripts will convert this into the necessary size and ratio so you'll get that downloaded after remove this choose file go to downloads your default download directory here we have that image here with 150 150 named so click it and open this is correct and according to the criteria so you'll get a save button click save okay the product have been added here in this table view you can see the image here so yeah, it will be updated later if you go to edit all the details are here and you can see the image you uploaded and you can remove it and update it again so this product will be without a picture or else you can remove and re-upload another one so before you are uploading images in editing so now you have removed the image it's successfully removed now it will prompt you to choose a file if you need only or else you can leave it updated without a image file there will be a error message no image selected it's okay so here no images before you upload the image you have first have to set this SKU code correctly because when the image is getting uploaded to this site it takes the name from the sku code you can see here if you change this code now after uploading an image it won't get that image so the correct image won't be displayed in the mobile apps so if you want to change or update the sku code change it remove the image and again upload the same image so it will get the SKU code as you changed. Okay, I don't I don't need to change this SKU code, but I need an image. So I'm uploading the same image again. Okay, now update. Okay, it's successfully updated. So when you open your mobile and the product list, you can see the image as it is. After that, if uh, these these products are didn't assign with any amount quantity 
or its values so you can delete this product just clicking by the remove button if this product have a value quantity equals to one or greater you can delete this product unless it becomes zero so uh, any empty products can be deleted